Hey guys, Shaq here. Wanted to make a quick video about one of the most discussed and highly contentious topics in the HC Warrior Discord channel. Which spec should you level as? All right, so I quickly want to break down a couple things that people seem to agree upon, some that they don't agree upon, and give you the lay of the land so that you can decide which spec is right for you. Now, the first thing I want to say is there seem to be two things that are unanimous, right? Two things that most warriors can agree on. Number one is don't go protection, right? So we're going to talk about plenty of other options, but it seems to be pretty unanimous. Unless you want to go prot to tank one or two dungeons at higher levels, you're not going to want to go protection, definitely not for leveling, and you're definitely going to want to stick to, you know, primarily either arms or fury, especially for the first like 30, 40 levels where it's quite easy to tank dungeons as arms or fury anyway. So that's rule number one. Rule number two is you can never really go wrong by starting with cruelty, right? So I'm hovering over it here. Increases your chance to get a critical strike with melee weapons by 1%. So most people, whether they go arms or fury, will put their first points into cruelty no matter what. Again, something that everybody seems to agree with, not something that you necessarily have to do. But if you're confused, or if you're dying a lot in the teens or the 20s anyways, and you don't have to worry about the bottom of the tree, put your first five points into cruelty and, you know, maybe focus more on playing well as opposed to a couple points here and there may not be the issue if you're dying a lot. Now, from there, let's talk about if you do go cruelty, right? So you put your first five points right here into cruelty. If you want to stick into the fury tree, that's one thing you can definitely do, right? For the first most of your journey, you can go all the way down fury. You can do two-handed fury. You can do dual-wield fury. It kind of depends whether you're going two-handed or dual-wield might determine some of your points. For example, something like Unbridled Wrath might not be as good if you're going two-handed fury because you're getting extra rage when you deal damage with weapons. And if you have a slow two-handed weapon, it's not as valuable, right? You might want to instead consider something like Imp Demoralizing Shout uh, or Booming Voice, right? Again, even these things are highly, highly contested, right? Whether you want to increase the length of time of the shouts, Battle Shout and Demo Shout, the effect and the duration, or whether you want to increase the, increase the attack power reduction of Demo Shout. I tend to lean towards booming voice because you can spend less rage shouting as often and imp demo is mostly defensive whereas most people tend to pick more offensive talents, right? The faster you kill things or the less rage you have to spend on your shouts, the more rage you can spend on your um, offensive abilities, right? Going from there, pier piercing howl is a great talent for HC, right? Because it's an AOE slow, good for escapes. Blood Craze can be good. Um, Blood Craze and, and Imp Battle Shout are two you know, additional talents that people consider that can be strong and more offensive, right? So offensive is, is usually good, and then you can kind of scale down from there. On the other hand, you can go first five points into Cruelty, and then you can go right into Arms, right? And again, this is even contentious as well. Some people like to go the Imp Rend route, right? Where they go Imp Rend, into potentially deep wounds. Deep wounds can be good and bad, obviously it's more damage, but at the same time, later on it can be harder to fear mobs if many of them are bleeding, right? So what some people like to do, myself included, especially if you're not heroic striking too much, which you probably shouldn't be, is go into deflection. I know that's going against our use offensive talents, but if the choice is between the Imp Rend and the HS, you might want to actually instead go deflection, Parrying can actually increase the damage that you're putting out and instead focus on things like Tactical Mastery, Imp Charge, Anger Management can be really good for Rage Management, etc, etc. Alright, so you can kind of go either way, right? You can pick, you can start with Cruelty and then go either way from there. The other thing you can do is just go right into Arms, right? So you don't have to start with Cruelty. A lot of people think that that's optimal. And by all means, you can do that, but you can also skip cruelty and instead just go down arms. Uh, I prefer to start with deflection, for example, five into deflection, and then you can either go, you know, imp charge, tactical mastery. There's some people that even like imp T clap, not at the beginning, maybe later on to revisit to get that anger management. Imp charge is really nice for rage generation. Uh, imp overpower can be really nice too, and then typically into two handed 
uh, weapon specialization, again, more damage, right? Now, at level 30, you may want to be going into sweeping strikes no matter what, right? So, for example, if you start 5 cruelty and then you go into arms, whatever it may be, you may still want to respec at level 30 to grab sweeping strikes. If you didn't start cruelty and you went all the way down arms, you will get sweeping strikes at 30. Again, totally up to you, right? This is all up to your personal preference. But especially if you have a nice big two-hander and you're the type of person that likes to play maybe a little bit more aggressively and you're comfortable pulling two mobs at the same time, having sweeping strikes can be really nice, right? Because every 30 seconds you can be pulling, you can be pooling rage, pulling two mobs and sweeping strikes, you know, sweeping strikes them down. Now, potentially either way, when you hit 40, you're probably going to want to go arms for mortal strike, right? It's a huge surge for warriors when they hit 40. Probably by then you'll have your whirlwind axe and you get mortal strike. And so again, if you're either going all the way down fury or maybe you went five into cruelty, then over to arms, you might want to respec at 40 to pick up mortal strike because it's a nice power spike for the warrior at that point, right? Now again, maybe you're struggling early on in the teens, 20s, and this is even too far down the road, but just things to keep in mind. Now the last two points I want to mention is, again, respecking at 30 and 40 into arms can be good for sweeping strikes and mortal strike. Respecking in the 50s to fury can also be good, depending on, you know, gear and, and weapon progression, right? The two-hander options start to slow down a little bit, and dual-wield fury can get really strong, not really strong, but str you know, stronger than two-handed arms into the 50s. So keep that in mind, keep an eye out for those one-handers. And lastly, what I'll say is, all of this can be very personally or gear dependent, right? What play style do you like? What weapons did you get, right? Are you going dual wield fury, but you got a really good two-handed weapon at level 25 or 35, you know, whatever it may be. Are you going down arms, but you got a really, you know, good pair of two-handers or a really rare, great one-hander that you can pair with, you know, a good enough one-hander to go dual wield uh, or fury, right? So again, especially with warrior, very gear dependent, very weapon dependent. So you can also adjust your style based on what weapons you're getting. Lastly, there is no right and wrong, right? It's actually, I find it quite interesting that this game has been out for so long and yet this topic is still so highly debated. It's one of the reasons that playing Warrior, I think, is a lot of fun because you can personalize it, right? There is no perfect spec per se. Do what you like, do what you feel most comfortable and confident doing because at the end of the, the day, that's probably more most important. The last, last point pro tip is, I would say playing Warrior, worry more about your play style. Play protective, play safe, play careful. That's probably going to cause you, not doing that will cause you more deaths than putting a few points in the wrong talent, right? So focus on play style, focus on being careful, have fun. Hopefully this helped. If it did, make sure to like and subscribe. I post all my videos from my streaming here on YouTube, and I also stream live on Twitch, so check that out. Hope to see you in the next one. Take care.